Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. And in this quick video, I just want to give you my thoughts on the popular question that I get all the time. Is chat GPT plus worth it? And my short answer to this question is it depends. And I'm going to explain my answer in this video. And I also want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. Do you think chat GPT plus is worth it for 20 bucks a month? What are some tools that you're using as free alternatives? I just want to hear your input on this question as it can vary based on anyone's use case. So I do have chat GPT plus as I'm signed in right here. Um, and let me just explain what you get first with chat GPT plus. So it does cost $20 a month. I'm on OpenAI's website. This price point has it ch hasn't changed since they released ChatGPT+. You can also get a team plan or an enterprise plan if you're using this frequently with a lot of people involved. Um, but with ChatGPT+, the big things to call out here is you get access to the GPT-4 language model. So in the free version of ChatGPT, you only get GPT-3.5, which being 100% honest, guys, is a horrible language model, especially now in 2024, as we're almost halfway through 2024, you should be using GPT-4, Claude 3, there's better models with Gemini, uh, Llama 3 just came out from Meta AI, and I'm gonna show you some alternatives that I would recommend using if you don't wanna use ChatGPT+. Uh, the other benefit here is you also get access to custom GPTs. So if I go into ChatGPT and click Explore GPTs, you get access to these custom GPTs, uh, which still are somewhat popular in my opinion. You can look at trending. Um, basically, these are pre-configured versions of ChatGPT that people are creating for different use cases, whether it's writing content, uh, it's generating images with DALI, um, it's doing productivity tasks, it's automation tasks, research and analysis, coding or programming, education, lifestyle, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So if custom GPTs are important to you, um, then yeah, I would highly consider chat GPT+. Uh, the other things that you get access to are DALI, so image generation inside chat GPT. You get real-time web browsing paired with Bing, Bing search results. You also get advanced data analysis tools and more. So if I come up here, you'll see... If I click new chat, it's gonna list all these features right here. Dolly browsing analysis, you should limits may apply. So now that you have an understanding, if you didn't before, what comes with chat GPT plus versus just the free version, now we need to answer the ultimate question. Is chat GPT plus worth it for you at 20 bucks a month? Now, if you're using AI or chat GPT every single day, my answer is yes. And there are a lot of reasons for that as the GPT 3.5 model is extremely limited. And I'm gonna show you a quick text prompt just to explain this in real time. So if I do something you know, that involves recency, I'm gonna say, what is the current price of Bitcoin using chat GPT 3.5? And the only benefit of GPT 3.5 is the responses are very quick. Outside of that, I don't recommend using this for anything. And here's an example why right here. It says, I can't provide real-time information, including the current price of Bitcoin. You can easily find the current price, da 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 And it's going to basically direct you in another direction. So if I even say something again, I'm going to say, um, what is the latest news for... AI in 2024, some other recency prompt. And then it's gonna say here, as of my last update in January 22, I don't have access to real time information or events. However, in 2024, blah, blah, blah. Um, the point I'm trying to make here is that the knowledge base cuts off at January 2022, which in today's world of AI, that is not great. It's over two years behind in terms of its training data and knowledge base. So not good. That is number one, is that if you're using AI or chat GPT every day, which would be 3.5, you need to get chat GPT plus. I would not recommend using the free version of chat GPT at all. So now if I open up GPT-4, I'm just gonna run a quick comparison using the exact same example. What is the current price of Bitcoin? And what the benefit of this is, like I talked about earlier, is that it connects to the internet in real time. It can integrate directly with Bing's search results. So it says here, the current price of Bitcoin varies across different platforms, which is true, generally around 64,000. Here are a few specific listings. Coin market, 63,071. So these are all around the same. Um, and I like how it says this at the very end. Cryptocurrency prices are very volatile and can change rapidly. If I go to Google and search the price of Bitcoin, if I click refresh, 63,166. 
So it says, I mean, this one's very close here, around 64,000, 63, 63. Um, so I'm just trying to show you in a very simple example of why GPT-4 is much better than 3.5. Its knowledge base and training data is much more recent than what you would see in 3.5, two years more recent to be exact. Now back to the topic of custom GPT. So again, if you're trying to use custom GPTs for only 20 bucks a month, there are some awesome custom GPTs in here uh, that not only will save you guys time, but will also give you a lot better outputs than what you would ever see using the free version of chat GPT. So for only 20 bucks a month, I mean, this is a pretty incredible piece of software that you guys are getting that we've never had access to before, really 2022 or 2021. Um, so I actually use, here's a couple examples that I use all the time, photorealistic GPT. This generates realistic images and I have a video on my channel and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Same with Humanizer Pro. I have a whole video dedicated to how you can use the Humanizer Pro custom GPT to basically create AI generated content that re-spins it and bypasses all of these detectors, which is becoming a really important factor here um, as people are using AI content detectors left and right for various reasons. So custom GPTs, another great option here. Um, back to DALI. So if creating AI generated images inside chat GPT is a deal breaker for you, then yes, you need chat GPT plus. Um, I'm just going to do a quick example here on a previous chat. So here's some thumbnails that I'm creating using Dolly 3. Um, and I wouldn't be able to do this on the free version of chat GPT. Um, that's not a great example here. So if I come back, let's do um, free AI tools design. This is a better one. So this is one I actually use on my channel. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel, that's the thumbnail right there, the free AI tools. So I use Dolly 3 all the time to generate my YouTube thumbnails. I think I use it to generate the logo for this YouTube channel and AI insider tips. Um, I've also used it to generate all sorts of other images for various use cases, not only business wise, but personal as well. So that is another benefit is using Dolly 3 and generating images right inside the chat GPT plus user interface. So if you're still watching by now and thinking to yourself, yeah, Ryan, this is all cool, you know, Dolly 3, custom GPTs, all this is cool stuff, but I still don't want to pay 20 bucks a month for chat GPT plus, um, which is totally cool. There are a bunch of free options out there. And if you do not want to pay 20 bucks a month for chat GPT plus, I'm going to show you really quickly what you should be using as alternatives. The number one is Microsoft Copilot. Now, all you need to do is sign into a Microsoft account for free. This is the rebranded version of Bing Chat. I have a ton of different tutorials and videos on my channel about Microsoft Copilot, um, but I believe it runs a mix of GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. Um, let's just ask it really quick. I'm going to say, what AI language model are you using? And if I hit enter, um, this is just the interface of Microsoft Copilot. It says it's powered by a language model developed by OpenAI. It's a very advanced model that allows me to understand yada, 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 the exact details and version of proprietary information. Is there anything else you would like to know? So if I had to guess, it's a mix of GPT-4 and 3.5. Um, the other benefit here is it has designer. So after you're signed into a Microsoft account, you can actually use Dolly 3 for free inside Microsoft Copilot. A lot of people don't realize this and think you have to pay 20 bucks a month to use Dolly 3. You don't. I will say though, from previous experience, you can watch this on videos I'll leave in the description below. The outputs that you get in the free version of Dolly and Copilot are a lot worse than what you would get in the paid version of Dolly 3 inside ChatGPT+. That's just from personal experience. Um, there's vacation planners, cooking assistants. Um, they have a notebook option here if you wanna do some sort of note, AI note taking things. Um, but the other cool thing here is it has these different modes. So creative, balanced, precise. Um, they also have a Copilot Pro option. Um, I've never actually used this or tested this. I might in future videos, but it's 20 bucks a month for Microsoft Copilot Pro. Um, and honestly, guys, if you're going to pay 20 bucks a month for Copilot Pro, you're better off just paying 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT+. That's just my honest take there. Um, but again, this is for people who don't want to pay 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT+. Microsoft Copilot would be the first alternative that I would turn to. Another alternative I would turn to is Claude or Claude 3. 
Um, you do you do not have to pay to start using Claude. So if you're on this Claude.ai website, I love Claude 3. I'm on the premium version using Claude 3 Opus. But if you click continue with Google, you can sign in using a Google account and this should redirect you to the chat bot here. So it says, good afternoon, AI Insider Tips. And as you'll see right here, um, Claude 3 Sonnet is the model. If I start typing, that is the free model that you can use. And it's not bad. You know, I would say it's probably comparable to maybe Llama 3. It is better than GPT 3.5, in my opinion. You guys can look at all the benchmarks and all the different resources out there. Um, but I just want to show you that Claude 3 is another great alternative to Chat GPT+. Another one that you guys are probably familiar with by now is Google Gemini. Um, you just need a Google account to start using this for free. Um, you can upgrade to Gemini Advanced uh, for it looks like 20 bucks a month or $19.99 a month. Um, this does get you access to their most sophisticated AI model today, which is Gemini 1.0 Ultra. Um, so, and then all this other stuff too, you get Google One benefits, storage, Gemini and Google Docs and Gmail, et cetera, et cetera. I don't have the premium version of Gemini Advanced. I just have the free version here. But again, this is a better model than GPT 3.5 than what you would get in the free version of ChatGPT. I don't like the free version of Gemini more than I like GPT-4. This is all personal preference though. Um, just another alternative to look into is Google Gemini. And then the most recent alternative you guys can explore is Llama 3. Llama 3 is a large language model owned and operated by Meta, who owns Facebook, Instagram, uh, and WhatsApp. Uh, they just released this literally like a week ago as I'm recording this. Uh, this is one of the few open source models available. It's extremely quick. Uh, it's pretty accurate. I like it better than GPT 3.5. Um, I'm not sure I'm sold on. It's better than GPT 4 or Claude 3 Opus. Um, but if you're looking for alternatives to the free version of ChatGPT, look no further than Llama 3. And you can start using this for free at a website called meta.ai. You can also create images with Meta's Imagine functionality. You do need to be signed into a Facebook account in order to generate images using Meta AI. Um, but again, this is another great option to alternative to ChatGPT Plus and Dolly 3 is Llama 3 and also Meta's Imagine functionality. So that's it, guys. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you sticking around and hearing my take and really ramble on the popular question of is ChatGPT Plus worth it at that $20 a month price point? And again, here is my final answer. If you're using ChatGPT regularly, multiple times per week or every single day, then yes, ChatGPT Plus is worth it for 20 bucks a month. You simply will not find another SaaS tool or software that costs $20 a month that provides all the capabilities and functionalities that you get inside ChatGPT Plus. So if you disagree, let me know in the comment section below. Happy to engage with you all there. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel at AI insider tips, I would truly appreciate that. As guys, I spend hours trying to put together these videos, uh, trying to keep you updated on the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. Like this video if it helped you, found value. Dislike it if you didn't find value, as I know what to create in the future for you guys. Um, again, I hope you all have a great day, and I appreciate you watching this video on is ChatGPT Plus worth it for 20 bucks a month.